time for electronics. So, we're gonna do that now. What we have is our, our nays, our brain for our quadcopter, our receiver, very important, we need that receiver, four ESCs, also important, batteries, propellers, and connectors for the batteries. With that in mind, we pretty much have everything. There's only one thing we're missing, and that's the motors. And I do have motors, they're just not in a place you would expect them to be. In fact, well, I think it's better if I just show you. Yes, a DJI Phantom, and this was a DJI Phantom Vision Plus. You might be thinking, why am I taking a part of DJI Phantom drone? Well, unfortunately, there is a big story behind this one and a very sad story. I was flying it and the next day I wasn't. Unfortunately, the inner components of this thing have been kaputsa. We don't exactly know what's wrong, to be honest. I have done research beyond research. I have reinstalled software. I have done a billion things. And this drone has never worked after the dreadful crash that it took. So, with that in mind, we are be subtracting the motors out of this thing and putting it on the quadcopter. Now, it's just up to soldering the components together and putting this thing together. So let's get started. First and very first thing I'm going to do is solder on the pins to the Naze 32. Now this Naze 32 comes with some wire, which is important. This will help connect the Naze 32 to the receiver. With that in mind, we're gonna push that aside. We have our actual Naze itself. Let's go ahead and get rid of the boxes. We don't really need anything in there. So this is the actual Naze itself. Um, and then we have a bunch of pins that we need to solder on to the Naze, and that's what we'll be doing now. Alrighty, so the pins are all soldered. So now that the pins are all soldered in, I'm gonna go ahead and install the board into the actual case. All right, the first component is installed. So before we go any further, there's one thing we should do, which we kind of forgot to do before we started getting away soldering on this thing, is to actually install the software on the Naze before we start plugging things in. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the software. Next, we need to install our receiver. So our receiver is now wired to our nays. So now our next step is to start soldering and wiring the ESCs. And now these ESCs, we won't be using all of the wires, only for motor one, which is down here. And this one's gonna provide the power. The rest I'm going to snip and keep nothing but the white wire, which is our signal wire. So now that we got that all done, let's go ahead and start unsoldering the motors. All right, I have all the motors removed. Let's go ahead and pull that away. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the ESCs in. Alrighty, so that's where each individual ESC will go. I may say, look, absolutely beautiful. It's already starting to look like a quadcopter. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install the motors. Alrighty, so I got all the motors installed. So I have some soldering left to do. Alrighty, so I think that we got most everything on. Um, there are a few things we need to do. We need to calibrate the NACE32, or in other words, plug in the NACE32, make sure our motors are spinning the correct way. All right, let's go ahead and test motor one, which is over here. That is spinning the correct way. Motor two, which should be over here. Good, that's spinning the correct way. Motor three, which should be over here. That's spinning the correct way. Motor four. And that's spinning the correct way. 
All right, it appears all our motors are spinning the correct way. So I'll put shrink wrap on these and tidy these up. I think that concludes it. And I went ahead and mounted the battery in there. But I think the quadcopter is finally done. Man, that took forever. I mean, so much soldering, so much work, and I think it finally is complete, the quadcopter. Beautiful, beautiful quadcopter. I'm very excited to fly it. So let's put the props on and go out and test it. I think all the props are on and they are ready to go. All right, so let's take it outside and test fly it. Yeah, I'm pumped and excited. Let's go test it. Ready? Yep. Disarm and we're good. Test flight successful. Alrighty, thanks for watching. And if you have something you want to see printed, definitely request it. We'll see you next week.